there is not just one. I would have to say that surrendering and taking one life to live was huge. Listening to Herb and going up for who's the boss. The Ryan White story. Getting myself to New York to audition for WIT and being willing to do it for almost a year. And the overall is that with everything that I listened, that I, I listened when something was being presented, that in every one of those circumstances I listened. And I felt deep pride in myself for not going with my automatic personality, wants, desires, the little girl from Trenton who made her father cry when she did to us the night before Christmas, that I work to become a person of substance and that I listen to the support around me even when it was difficult to listen to. That when Herb said I was so angry going into those auditions that I was keeping myself. I was creating that. And that I took responsibility for those things that were keeping me from following on a path that I think that I was here to follow. You know, when people talk about being in the zone, you know, I'm in the zone. You can always be in the zone. And I think you can always be in the zone if you're not trying to think with what I call your programmed mind. You know, I learned a lot from my parents, a lot. They gave me a tremendous amount. But I also knew as I got older that my neurosis was standing in my way. That's why I had to surrender at some point. I had to be on my knees, or in my case, I was flat on my back, and that I knew that I needed help because I knew that I knew at some deep intuitive level, I mean, I didn't, mind you, I didn't want to know it, but I knew that I wasn't, I wasn't being my true self. I was gonna stand so much in my way and I was gonna be so afraid of everything in life that I wasn't going to be able to take full advantage of this life the way that I knew that I so deeply wanted to. And so that, those accomplishments are the ones that really taught me that I could be brave no matter how scared I was. I mean, opening night of Lombardy, I was a wreck. Opening night of other desert cities, I was a wreck. Opening night of the assembled party. You know, there's this, and I remember when I did Herzl, I was holding on to my chair in my dressing room and I thought, I can't make it down to the stage. I'm so terrified. But we're terrified and we move on. And so when I say to you, those are times and the, the medium is whatever it is, it's how am I being in the world? How am I being in my career? How am I being with other people? Am I bringing joy to a set? Or am I bringing complaining? Am I bringing what I've learned over the years? Am I taking advantage of that and giving it away to other people? Am I there to support other people being the best that they can be? Or am I just making it about myself? And all of those opportunities I had were those opportunities. I think most importantly that I was kind, that I made it about other people, that I was gracious and that I was generous and that I wasn't that I had handled my emotional life so that I wasn't having that spill over into everybody else's space or life. That I genuinely love the work that I do. 
and I'm deeply grateful for it to so many people. And I guess that I did what I came here to do and that I listened. <laughs>